Hi guys, thanks so much for checking back into my channel today. I am here today to do an October favorites video with you guys. I have, I don't think I have too much to share, but the things that I uh, have to share are things that I absolutely love the entire month of November. Out with something that I think I've shared with you guys before, Starbucks Thanksgiving blend. I think uh, I talked about this in one of my blog videos that I put up this month, that this is one of my favorite fall um, flavors for the month that they put out for Thanksgiving. I drank it the entire month um, with some exceptions and I'll share with you guys the exception that Michael picked up because this one isn't necessarily his favorite, but it is mine. So we stocked up on these uh, before they got gone. And so hopefully you guys did too. The one that Michael liked the most, he likes some more bold flavor in his coffee. Uh, and he got the Christmas blend espresso roast. No, this is not a new bag, so looks like this. Now there are a couple of different kinds of um, Christmas blends. The one that I really don't like is the one in the red packaging. And but this one was different, at least to me when, when he brought this one home. And I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to because it, it's a more of a bolder uh, flavor. So I, like I said, I didn't think this would be something that I would have enjoyed, but I absolutely did. And uh, he makes his uh, iced coffees with these. Sometimes he will make up a big pot of um, coffee and use it for his iced coffees that he makes at home. But sometimes I will get some of that uh, hot coffee when he makes it and then, but I've, I've really enjoyed it is what I'm trying to say. Still keeping on the same uh, vein of coffee. If you guys remember a few months ago, I shared with you my, uh, those see stainless water bottles. I got the big, I don't know if it's 24 ounces or, um, how many that one is, but I use it for my water bottle. And I said that I was considering maybe getting one for just coffee only because the, these types of bottles promote keeping hot things hot and cold things cold for an extended period of time. And so I went ahead and uh, found this one. I think I found it at my local TJ Maxx. It's from this brand. And I am a slow coffee drinker and I do not like when my coffee gets cold. I'm not about that cold coffee. I don't like it. I like it hot or at least very warm. So uh, this is perfect for me. I fix it in the morning, put the lid on it, throw it in my bag if I need to and you know walk into work. We went on a uh, road trip to home for Thanksgiving and we stopped at Starbucks and I wasn't necessarily ready for coffee right then and there, but we were at the location. So I went ahead and had got some, put it in here, and it was ready for me to sip on, you know, most of our trips. Next, I will jump into skincare. I don't really have anything new to share. I might be showing you guys one thing that I haven't shown before, but I mean, it's nothing new to my uh, regimen, and that is my Clarisonic Mia 2. I have owned the Mia and the Mia 2 ever since they first came out. These are perfect uh, for me to wash my face. I do wear makeup uh, probably 97% of the time. I have on some form of makeup, so this is perfect for me to remove all the makeup from my skin. And so this is something I use night and day. With the exception of some mornings, I, if I don't feel like my skin needs it, I don't use it. But most definitely every night I use it to uh, remove the makeup from my skin. This same combination of, hopefully you guys are being able to see this. I'm in a different location, but I've shared this with you guys before, the Lancome Cream Radiance. Uh, facial wash still using that the bio oil for my skin at night I'm still still using this 
and the Origin Zero Oil uh, Moisturizer is something that I reincorporated back into my skincare for daytime. This combination of four things is working perfectly for my skin and it is not broke so I'm not looking to fix it but I'm just only sharing this with you guys just in case somebody else out here is having the same types of issues as I am and have kind of adjusted based off of some things that I've talked about that maybe you two also were dealing with and now that I've kind of talked about the things that are working for me I don't want you to think that I'm continually trying new things this is something that's working and I'm going to keep working until um, something else happens different in my skin and I need to adjust it I think this will be a good enough combination for me to use also on my skin through the winter months but I will most definitely just listen to my skin and what it's saying Next. we will talk about hair I cannot remember if I shared this with you guys last month this is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie this is what I use on my hair for doing my twist outs uh, when I wash or kind of in between the week when I refresh up my curls I use this Curl Enhancing Smoothie I did not uh, divide the month between this one and my Camille Rose Natural for some reason I got on this curl enhancing smoothie and I did not get off of it for the entire month next thing that I have to share is an oldie but goodie for some reason this fell off my radar and it won't fall back off again this is something that I picked up months and months ago when I was probably newly natural and trying to give my hair the best uh, chance at you know getting it going that I possibly could and some kind of way I got off of it but it is this Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask and what I have used this for is for as a uh, moisturizing mask for my hair and how you do this and there's several videos on how to do this on YouTube but if you would like for me to to create a video showing you guys how I use it on my hair just let me know down in the comment section below and I will do that for you guys but I create mine using this powder and then the apple cider vinegar I mix that up together it's just a powder and I put that on my hair and I leave it on my hair for about 20 minutes and then I wash it out and you have to have to have to make sure that you do a very thorough job of washing out this mask out of your hair and you guys what it does for your hair is just phenomenal it makes your curls just pop it makes them uh, completely moisturized you can just tell by looking at them the curl pattern for me at least for my hair is definitely tighter just it, it just looks healthier uh, because it's gotten you know all the the special ingredients that this has to offer is you know been locked into my hair so I can, I can do a video on it if you guys want me to because there's you know a lot to say on it but you can also find other videos on YouTube where people are talking very specifically about this mask and how to use it because I also use it as a um, a facial mask as well so I make it for my hair put it on my hair but then what's left over I put it on my face and use it as face mask move on to a couple fragrances that I used quite a bit over the month the first one is my YSL black opium if you guys have smelled this before I I feel like I'm coming down with a cold so let's hope that's not the case oh this I mean this this fragrance here is very nighttimey. It's very uh, seductive. It's very um, mature. It's 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 the fragrance you could, you would use if you're dressing up, you know. So I I, get, I don't quite know the notes of it. If I think of the notes, uh, I will annotate them on the screen. If not, then just get your whiff of this go by a department store somewhere that sells this brand and smell it it is 
fabulous and it is a wonderful wintertime uh, scent. My next fall kind of wintertime scent that I use, and my scents guys, I use all year round, but these you can most definitely when you smell them say, okay, yeah, I can see how that one would be a wintertime scent. This one is my Gucci Guilty um, Black. I think this is Gucci Guilty Black. It's got the black on the front and then kind of this reddish color on the side. This one. It's definitely a, a lighter, sweeter, ver you know, um, scent than what you would get off of this one equally as seductive equally as um sexy um nighttime but i wear i wear mine during the day uh because most of the time at night i'm not going anywhere but i like to smell good anytime so these two were ones that i picked up quite a bit during the month of november and lastly we will jump into a few beauty items um, I showed you guys what I did for my skincare, but I still have my kind of what I would consider my problem area with my T with my T zone and my my pores here that I want to always address. Well, I tried something different. I was at Walmart um, and found this by Milani. It's called Prime Shield Face Primer, mattifying and pore minimizing. I found this at my local Walmart, decided to give it a try. They had one that was open that was kind of like a tester and I tried it on my skin and that's the kind of primers that I do like under my under my foundation. So I got this one and you guys, what I think is about six dollars can beat this one can compete with like a Smashbox face primer in my opinion. I have both. I have the Smashbox uh, foundation primer and then this one for $6 as opposed to, I don't know what the Smashbox ones are. I'm going to say anywhere from maybe $18 to $22, somewhere in there, in that range. But yes, if you are looking for a good primer to go under your foundation and it just creates this most flawless, beautiful look to your foundation when you're putting it on. Then I have a couple palettes that I used. Uh, these two, I think I've shown them both to you guys before on this, on this channel. The Smashbox Double Exposure and the My Rock Pro Palette Original. These colors here. I used quite a bit of these down here on this bottom row from here over to the end and maybe a, you know this at the black but at the top because that's just a really good black so this section here across used quite a bit of that then on the Smashbox double exposure I was all over the place with this palette because it's just that good Lastly, I have, trying to make sure that's all I have. Yep, two blushes from MAC that I use quite a bit. Because if you guys notice, those palettes, they were kind of neutral. I didn't do a lot of jazziness on my eyes over the month. And so these blushes were ones that uh, I really liked to wear. Also, I found myself going back to use these quite a bit. And this one is MAC Frankly Scarlet looks like that. Next is Film Noir. It definitely requires a light hand. I use it with a light hand. So very many people that are, uh, you know, just a lot fairer than me, I would swatch it first before I jumped into something like this, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous color. And this one is a matte as well. Other thing that I would like to mention is I went home for Thanksgiving and that is probably my highlight of the month is I got to go home like I do every year at Thanksgiving and spend time with my family and my friends. I got to hook up with my friend girls for a night and we just caught up and laughed and just had the best time. So that was most definitely a uh, the highlight for my month of November 
and I will include some pictures at the end where at my family's Thanksgiving um, uh, dinner that we uh, there's so many of us two of my aunts have six kids apiece my mom has three and my uncle has two and so we have it at my cousin's church in his gymnasium there's uh, a lot of people and a lot of food and we just had a blast as we do every single year and so i'm just really thankful that i was able to be able to continue to do this i've only missed one year since i've been here and i've been in illinois since 1998 and i've only missed one year of going home i tried to make that something that sticks for me uh, because I miss my family and I want to be home and around them more often but I'm too far away to make it down a lot so definitely we make it down Thanksgiving and my whole entire family looks forward to it and uh, like I said I was I'll put some pictures at the end just to kind of show you what we were doing but uh, hopefully you guys liked what I had to share if you guys found some things that were interesting uh, to you, then maybe you can go out and check them out. There are all kinds of sales that are running around on the internet during this season, so you may be able to jump up and find a few things to splurge on. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.